You know, it just occurs to me. Hmm. When we went to get that tooth, we never once said, Dental plan! Yeah, yeah you know. <laughs> oh, well, can't win them all. Excuse me. Huh? Did I just kill the music entirely? I wonder. I didn't mean to do it. I'm sorry. And maybe it just stopped. It's for the best. So what did you think of the first totem pole? Dude, it's a picture of the ultimate wave machine. How about the second totem pole? There's more than one. Three more, actually. Four altogether. I guess I missed them. How could you miss them? They're right there. Dude, chill. They're just totem poles. And they all vanish. The end. <laughs> Do you remember the pole with a man on it? You mean the peace and happiness pole? Sam, I don't think this guy's got enough wax in his board. I don't suppose you'd know about the fourth totem pole. Are you still talking to me? Who's the President of the United States? I thought they split up. Okay, I think we're done here. Yeah, and so was he. Not those presidents. <laughs> we kind of had you Bigfoots pegged as plant eaters. No way, dude. When a Bigfoot gets hungry, he'll eat anything, even rabbits. I'd be worried if I wasn't churning with foul and incurable diseases. <laughs> well, he's got that going for him. Gotta go. Which is nice. Well, hello, dude. All right, yeah, that's uh, the more amusing ones. Although, if you still want to hear from Vanuatu's wife over there, what'd you go back in there for? I'm trying to see if I can get the music, uh, the, the music back on. I thought I killed it. Oh. Might have made it a bit too low. That was not my intention. Yeah, anyway. Mrs. V? Yes? I wish my hair was more like yours. I can't do a thing with mine. That's why he always wears a hat. You should talk to my hair care specialist, Janet. She does marvelous work. Why, just last autumn, she was soaking my head and I said, Janet, you've just got the best hair care specialist I've ever known. And then she said... So, what It doesn't matter what she said. <laughs> Well, my husband thinks it's some sort of homage to the wild and woolly nature of us Bigfoots. But if you ask me, I think it's an indictment of people who don't wash their hands before dinner. I remember when we had our niece, Jay, over for dinner, and I said, Jay, don't you touch that bread until you wash the ichor off your fur. Then she had the nerve to say, Why does that totem have a big tooth on it? Well, hon, some Bigfoots would have you believe that it's a symbol of power or some such. But if you want my opinion... And I can't imagine why we would. I think that pole represents the importance of visiting your dentist regularly. Life's funny, Sam. When I woke up this morning, I thought I'd just watch some TV and shoot some criminals. Now a big stinky forest creature is giving me a lecture on dental hygiene. I'm not joking, Bunny. Why do you think all those dinosaurs died out anyway? To impress the babes? No, it was tooth decay. <laughs> oh my god, she actually shut up. I might die out. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Who's the guy with a hat on the third totem pole? I thought he was you. I don't think so. Then I'm at a loss. Yeah, I'm much more, uh, I'm much more good looking than he is. <laughs> Have you given any thought to the totem pole with the two heads on it? Well, hon, it's either a visualization of our sun god's development and growth, or an ancient advertisement for an herbal mixture for balding Bigfoots. Bald Bigfoots? Ew. Who dares? Gotta go. Don't be a stranger. Wouldn't dream of it. All In right. fact, I think I've lost the ability to dream. <laughs> All right. Let's give those uh, let's give those items to the chief and get these Bigfoots back to their glory. I don't suppose I have to combine them, do I? No, just give them to the chief. All right, one by one. Hey, where do you think you're going? Bush, Fido. <laughs> get going. Hey, you're doing it again. There we there go. All right. So first, just give him the the uh, it's snow a globe. It's authentic dinosaur too. Or the, well, it doesn't actually. It doesn't matter what order you give it to him, man. You know. In the order we got it. Hey, Chiefy Poo! I think I figured out one of those baffling totem poles. Ooh. 
Whoa. A genuine dinosaur tooth. I figured it might be something like that. Did he say genuine? Did he? It's a snow globe <laughs> full of swirling pseudo-mystical energies. That's not, that's not the next one we got. This is. I believe we've deduced the secret of one of your totem poles. Hit me! Pacing is all the rage. And don't tip Max, you just might do it. Nice style. The combination of man and nature. Inventive. Is it soup yet? Why don't you jump in and find out? <laughs> hmm. Then you got the pillow. Mm, yes. It's a pillow with hair tonic all over it. Disgusting. Who wears hair tonic to bed? Uh, Pumpus, apparently. Hey, Mr. Chief, we found something that might tie into your totem poles. Yeah? W what is it? Ugh, gnarly. I dropped the pillow, too. <laughs> Ooh, you made a do flamingo pose for a second there. Hair growth <laughs> tonic. Very resourceful. We just like stealing pillows. Oh, well, he knows we have none to sleep on. <laughs> and finally. I think I figured out one of the totem poles. Let me see. The mystical natures. Very nice. Whoa. Trippy. <laughs> Very good. Ickity ackity oop, baby. A handheld vortex. Good thinking. Thinking had nothing to do with it. Well, that should do it, right? Nothing's happening, Sam. What's the story, Pops? Oh, I don't know. I'm sure you got the ingredients right, but. Of course. How silly of me. What? In order for the spell to work, we need a living Bigfoot sacrifice. It'd be a shame to lose one of these furry fellas, don't you think? Wait, I've got an idea. And it doesn't require high explosives. Wait here. Ooh, I think I know where this is going. While he's gone, I'll go see if any of the Bigfoots wants to off themselves for the greater good. No Stop. need. We Stop. have one right here. It's time for the end game. After all, who's going to miss these guys? They died as they lived! I had a feeling it was a sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> Let's work that Bigfoot magic. Who would have ever guessed that, uh... Bumpus would have uh, given himself up for the greater good like this, huh? <laughs> Ain't that irony. Oh! More trees than your body has room for! I'm starting to think we may have inadvertently destroyed the world. With trees? Get out of here! The world could use more trees anyway. It's the Poison Ivy ending! Well, that was one heck of an impressive display. And actually highly destructive to boot. Goodbye, Sam and Max. I'm not sure how I could ever thank you, so I guess I won't. Will you and Trixie be heading back into the forest to live an idyllic nature-oriented existence together? Hell no. We're going to Vegas to get hitched. If it hasn't been trashed by all this crazy redwood nonsense. We want to be in a place where we can sort of blend in. Live our lives. Maybe even raise a family. Ew. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, you nutsy, primitive man-beast, you. You boys <laughs> should be proud of what you've helped us achieve here today. You mean the wholesale destruction of the symbols of modern civilization in the western United States? You bet we are. Do we win a prize? Well, oh, why not? This medallion has been a part of my family for untold generations. Wear it in good health. 
Thanks, Chief. Max loves cheap sentiment. Delicious. Chocolatey. Mmm. -hmm. Foil covered chocolatey goodness. What's wrong, Sam? I don't think the wizard has anything in that bag for me. Well, I could give you my ritual headdress that I bought at Snucky's last week. Oh, put it back on! Put it back on! I appreciate the gesture, but I've already got a hat. Well, that's fine, too. Farewell, Sam and Max. Remember, though the night be dark, the dawn yet shall awaken and annoy you. Have a nice day. That's just not the count, I suppose. I'll miss that old rascal. I'll miss the way he smelled like a bag full of damp hamster shavings. Just like Grandpa. Hey, we forgot to get paid. Don't worry, little buddy. I've got it all covered. I hope you're happy. With those idiots on the case, we'll probably never see Bruno again. Oh, lighten up, Burl. Hey, they're back. Did you find Bruno? Of course. Bruno! Whoa. How can we ever repay you? The blank looks on your faces are the only reward we need. That and a big fat check. Would you settle for 3,000 skee-ball tickets? Close enough. Let's go, Max. Good enough for government work. That's what I say. You know, Max, I can't help thinking that we've foolishly tampered with the fragile inner mechanisms of this little spaceship we call Earth. Gosh, Sam, a few hundred years of civilization have to be total just to ensure that a bunch of smelly quasi-human creatures have a safe haven for their disgusting lifestyles. Then so be it. You crack me up, little buddy. No better way to end it. Burl, did Bruno always have four arms? Of course he did. Well... Whoa, damn the tentacle. Run away. And there's also Guybrush Threepwood. <laughs> but yeah, that Sam and Max hit the road for you. By the way, I can shoot things. You things, can. Yeah? Yes. This is the way to end the game. Plot and destruction. But yeah, after this, uh, and look, it's yes. hard to get to. <laughs> no more of that. That's Guybrush. Guy, that's Guybrush Threepwood. Yeah, it's a voodoo doll that was made of him during the second Monkey Island game. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. Sam and Max pretty much had a long-lasting legacy after they were uh, after this game. Max himself made several cameos in several LucasArts. Oh, I, I think that was Pupsy. <laughs> yeah, in several LucasArts games uh, after this, because you know everyone at LucasArts still thought fondly of them at the time for a good while. What they could were... possibly go wrong? Bam! What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> LucasArts actually at one point were uh, thinking about doing a sequel for Sam and Max, but then they dropped it in order just to do some more bullshit Star Wars games. And look where that got them. Yeah. <laughs> but in the end, Sam and Max still are, you know, they still got a... Uh, I mean, they, uh, aside from the cartoon on the Fox Kids that only lasted all of two seasons, they still had a good career of video games ahead of them, which they got thanks to the, the kind people of Telltale Games. And uh, I will see to it that we may that hopefully we get around to that. But until then, the wanton carnage continues. Well, I can at least happily tell you that you don't need to because I believe I already do have that game. Oh, what season one or? It's the uh, the one that was on PS3, correct? Well, the one that's on PS3, I believe, is season three. Well, because or season two. I don't think they released season one yet. Hmm. Well, I'll have to investigate, but I'm pretty sure I haven't. I'll yeah. I'll let you know about that. But at least we got this one finally taken care of. Am I right? Yeah. I mean, it's been a long time coming because it, it was the it was the game that introduced me to Sam and Max, and uh, I haven't haven't stopped being a fan of them ever since. You know, I collected their you know their book, you know, both of them because I because I still have the old uh, rusty little uh, version that I got back when Sam and Max were LucasArts property. Uh, you know, I watched their entire cartoon series for, for what lasted. I got all three seasons of their games. I, you know, I mean, I can't say I'm the ultimate Sam and Max fan, but I would say that I'm among, you know, the people who've cared about them all this time. You can stop now. I don't want to. This is the kind of interactivity I live for. <laughs> No, really. It's over. Everybody go home. Sorry. Right, shoot the credits. Sorry, Ferris Bueller. We're leaving, and we're never coming back. 
<laughs> well, that was entertaining. Oh, it's still going. Okay, so we lied. <laughs> yeah, this is basically where the game stops. Where you, it's just gonna be this for as long as you want to go. But yeah. Anyway, that's Sam and Max at the road. I was kind of hoping of uh, getting them both to shoot at the same time. <laughs> oh. Nah, you can't. It's only one or the other, so. Uh, thumbnail generation. There you go. <laughs> okay, well that was <laughs> that was all kinds of interesting. Uh, I think that it, it, um, there was a little ho uh, um, hand holding in there, but not as much as Grim Fandango. So I was at least able to still enjoy for uh, enjoy for what it was worth, and it was pretty entertaining. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. I'm I'm kind of surprised that uh, what's it? Uh, Bumpus uh, Bumpus and his muscle there uh, still survived after the sacrifice. Yeah, I kind of questioned myself how that happened, but you know, it's Sam it couldn't and Max. Have no. to a nicer. It's, it couldn't have happened to a nicer guy anyway. But it's not like I'm. It's not like I'm going to uh, you know question the madness of this series. Yeah, because I'm just going to be glad it happened. If it's one thing Sam and Max have always been known for, it's madness, and it's uh, enjoyable all the same. You know not, mean, only that, not, not only that, but they managed to get their guns out of the wash. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. But still, Sam and Max is overall probably one of my favorite, um, or at least among one of my favorite games of all times, you know, alongside the likes of Grim Fandango, Space Quest, so on and so forth. So, you know, here's to them. <laughs> well, that was de that was definitely an interesting road, uh, road, road we travel. I, it was certainly not what I was, I was expecting, and that uh, that ending certainly came out of nowhere. I honestly thought we had uh, caused the... Uh, the is I caused the tree filled apocalypse for a second there, but it's only uh, it was only the better part of California and the ass end of uh, Canada. They'll, they'll be fine. Yeah, I think that's pretty. I think the I think that's pretty much where the original like quote unquote Yeti signing originally was, which is why they needed all those trees because you know that guy was that guy in the gorilla suit was basically behind a bunch of trees and stuff. So yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, that takes care of Sam and Max. Hit the road. I want to thank you for not only some. Uh, you know, joining me here tonight, but also supplying me for the uh, with the game as well. Yeah, if anytime. I ever, if I ever find out more about that whole uh, whether or not I have the game, I uh, you know the uh, the the recent one that they put out, I'll get back to you on that. Maybe we'll do that. Uh, maybe we'll do that one at some point. Yeah, I will tell you that the first season by Telltale Games is called Sam and Max Save the World, and the first episode is called Culture Shock. If it, that's if that's not the first one that you have, then it isn't season one. Well, it's um, I, actually the only I, I I remember now. It's called the Devil's Playhouse. Yeah, that's season three. So, oh, huh, weird. Luckily, well, season two is also on PS3, but not season one. That I would probably either have to get you for the Wii or on Steam. Well, uh, you you pro you probably be better off getting uh, getting it for me on uh, on uh, Wii because uh, this and Grim Fandango I can you know record easily. Something like uh, something on Steam. Oh, that's uh, that that would probably be a big old nightmare. So. Yeah, but until we get to that point, folks. Well, until the next uh, until the next co-op commentary, I'm Alan Sullivan. He's the Wise Mankey. Thank you for watching Lane Play Theater, and uh, hope to see you in uh, future games to come. Damn straight.